Hello everybody, this is Dylan with Joe the Masks and Robert, which he bows and you can't even see it. <laughs> We're doing our, we got our final one for this batch. We've got the Astro Militarum, Malkador Defender, Heavy Tank. I personally have been fanboying over this one since I first saw it on Forge World. Always been a fan of heavier tanks. If the box wants to cooperate. Bag. Well, oh. A little late. Yeah. Here's hoping that it has <laughs> actual instructions or if it's just like the towel. Oh man, yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's like you just slap it together by staring at it. Okay, so right, hey, explain hey, to us what we got here. Start resin. off. Start off, it looks like we got our normal prepping the resin kit. This time the inspector was SB. I kind of was really hoping the inspector would be BS. <laughs> so, so wait, is this your... This is the... Yeah. That's it? That's how you put it together, Dylan? That's all right. This one's plain as day enough. It'll be simple to solve. <laughs> I, and I do things. love the fact of the... Most I am of the really struggling to not hit you right now while holding the camera. Anyways. Am I that bad? I'm not going to answer that. Okay, so here you got your top resin hull piece. Beautiful, beautiful molding, little bit of flash. The engine down in the center, just, that's going to be a lot of fun to paint. All the different, all the different materials you can use. Get your engine stuff. magnets ready. We're going to have some showcasing material right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And your files. Yeah. Need to, yeah, files. You got your. You need to buy some files. Yeah. The top hatch, perfect, lovely little nubbed slots to just slide in and stick. Yeah. Yeah. Base plate. The bottom of the tank. I love how like the I, little resin uh, pool bits that they're attached to will make perfect tank traps, basically. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not to mention the fact I love how they always take into account add so much detail to the one part of the tank you'll never see. The bottom. <laughs> that's yeah. that's perfectly fine. Yeah. When you turn it over, when someone sinks it, you're going to be all set and glory for you. Yeah. That's going to be interesting on sinking a tank. I wonder how it's done. Well, basically, you put it out to sea like a tog. <laughs> okay. like, for my mother country! <laughs> <laughs> You've got your your tail pieces. Which remind me way too much of France, the Renault. <laughs> they weren't the only ones that had them. Yeah, well, just I'm the glad it wasn't a snowmobile, okay? <laughs> just be glad it wasn't a snowmobile. <laughs> your side... Your track sides, I love how they give you the option to actually mount the tracks yourself from the actual sprues. And I'm so happy to have extra bits for tank tracks for detail work on that. Especially for your orcs. Oh, yeah. We're going to need that for your grot tanks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the just the sheer amount of detail that go into the, this into these is just absolutely beautiful. I have to admit, I originally thought those uh, the sprue resin pools was... Uh, uh, the wow words. <laughs> the it's beautiful, isn't it? I know they are the plow, the plow in front of it. I thought they were going to be a plow. It's like nope, it's just resin pools. Okay, here goes that. Next, they give you a nice little sprue for your tank commanders. Between if you're playing 40k and 30k, you'll have your imperial and your renegades. Well, I guess still applicable for chaos. In other words, yeah. Mm -hmm. The yeah, detail yeah. on them is, again, really nice. I actually think that I might uh, chunk up him and add him to some other models. A little historical, but work. yeah. For, you know, this came out during the Varax, so that yeah. makes a lot yeah. more sense. One yeah. of your... The Varax was a massive uh, chaos uprising. Mm -hmm. Here you got your uh, side spawns and mountings that just kind of plug into the sides. That's beautiful. Yes, very nice detail on that, and it's going to be... A little bit of sanding and filing. It looks like it's going to need to be able oh, to fit those in there. always with resin. And then this is going to be the fun part, giving you the options between your las cannons, your heavy stubbers, and your heavy bolters with this. Try it's going to be very fun trying to mag working out how to magnetize these so I can keep all my options. You got your drill handy? Oh yeah, always. You got your fuel drums to add to the to add to your tank near the back hatch. Always always fun having that detail work. Mm-hmm. In that. I've seen a lot of uses for those actually okay. for uh, such as IEDs. Yeah, you could oh, just yeah. use the sponsons as IEDs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you get your 
five turret plugs for the five holes in the top of the chassis with their heavy bolters. Trying to decide if I want to either, if I want to uh, glue, them in pl glue them in place or have them free sitting. I'm kind of leaning towards free sitting at the moment. Yeah, it looks like it can easily be made for the free sitting, especially since it has that top hatch that yeah. falls over top of it. So. Not to mention, I love the fact that they molded in the individual barrels, so you don't have to drill them. Yeah, like you usually have to do. For oh a yeah, lot how of... how all their all the standard 40k stuff is always. Oh, the tip of the barrel is flat. Time to you drill. Know, I kind of wonder. Oh, yep. Even the tip of the last pistol is in is indented a little bit in its mold. You see, I'm actually really liking Forge World. This being the first order that we made because they go the extra mile for their detail. It it seems so far like it's really worth the money. Oh yeah. Then you have. I, your... I've not been sad with the pro any yeah. product I got from them. Yeah. Then you got your demolisher cannon for the front mount. This one I'm probably going to glue in place because... You don't have any other choices. Yeah. Well, you do, I just don't have any available currently. Well, what I'd are have the other choices? A last cannon, which... Why would you put a last cannon instead of a demolisher? Yeah, it's better. You got your, I guess uh, if you want ports. the long range, if you want it in the back. True. Last cannon does have a higher range. Uh, at that point, side spawns and last cannons. <laughs> point. Okay. So you get the best then of both worlds. You have your engine cover, which... That's the bottom. Very nice riveted detail so that you could actually cut along its seam line here and have it actually sitting open. Actually or just sitting still. And do. Just Especially with how detailed that engine is. Yeah. It'd be nice to have it open and like maybe have a, a an Imperial Guardman sitting back oh, there yeah. working on it. Yep. Then you also a have nice your tank hatches idea. with spotlight that comes along with it. That looks like that's gonna be fun. Yeah. Well, um the old night this was built. During the old night fight rules, where oh yeah, where mm -hmm. spotlights actually mattered. Yeah, I don't even know what spotlights do in the in the new. Um, they confer against night fighting, which is pretty much a yep. six plus save in the open. Yep, that's it. And, oh. uh, yeah, that just, looks like that is doesn't everything. matter range hardly anymore, except that's for sad. the six plus save. So, that's it. all right, so yeah, here's the instruction booklet that tells yep, them everything the, in it. Give you a better look at that, giving you a detailed layout of everything that you get, and that, and just. Beautiful model. I have been I've been wanting one for a long time now, and just just because the simple thought, what's better to have on the battlefield than a portable bunker? This is basically what it is. <laughs> oh. And it is going to be fun as hell to assemble, fun as hell to play. And it and it's been great talking to you guys. You guys have a good night.